Hello everybody, my name's um, Sharon. I'm the Chief Nurse and Deputy Chief Executive and um, I'm here today for Lance's Digital Diary while Lance is on some well-deserved leave. And um, I'm absolutely delighted actually to spend a bit of time with the ICT business partners and also the customer relation officers um, this morning, just understanding a bit more about their role in the organisation and uh, what they're most proud of actually, because they do an amazing, amazing role. So Paul and Joanne, it's lovely to meet you this morning as part of the business partners for the for their service. Um, I need to ask a, a bit of a naive question first of all. So um, when I knew I was coming to meet you this morning, so I know I of the ICT, but what does ICT stand for? Uh, information <laughs> Communication Technology. Ah, okay. Wow. So what does that mean and what's your role within it? Uh, so as a business partner, we're a conduit between ICT and the business so we in a way we're at an intersection where we we have we work for IT but we try to be part of the business as well so trying to assist in a, a, a divisional level some of the strategies aligning clinical and digital strategies knowing that as we move forward with the electronic patient record that we are IT is essential to that and moving forward. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that you've been involved with then sort of linking the dots up strategically, are you able to talk about any of those? Um, so from an IT perspective, we try to give the business an idea of what ICT can offer. So yeah. we, we've done an operation level agreement which sets out what what IT expects um, us to deliver to you as a, as a business. Um, so the uh, SLA, so service level agreement. So if you log a call, we'll try to resolve that issue within a certain period of time, depending on the importance and the criticality of that incident. Um, we're trying to create an ITT strategy, which outlines what we're trying to achieve over a period of time. So introducing new technology into the organisation, improving some of the uh, in, uh, technology that we have. Yeah, yeah, fab, brilliant. Joanne, you're part, you're part of this amazing team, aren't you? So anything you want to add? Into, and, and also what I'd really like to know is, what are you most proud of? I think um, I've been a business partner now for just over a year. And prior to that, I was a project manager. And I think the bit that we're most proud of is just how we help the healthcare groups yeah. to, when they know that they need a piece of equipment or a software package to do something um just looking what else there is and if there's an existing something that we've already got because we've got so many software packages throughout the trust that sometimes we don't utilize them to their full potential and what another department or healthcare group is looking for actually that bit does so we're trying to pull them together and make sure um and the bit that we're most proud of from um, business partners is our customer relationship team yeah. and the relationship that they have with the staff and uh, you know and they're just giving out um, personal iPads to, to clinical staff to help them and it's just when we witness the relationships that they've got with the staff in on the wards yeah. and hopefully we're helping them to look after our patients better by enabling the IT equipment that they've got. Yeah so I mean everyone's role in this organisation is about our patients isn't it and actually delivery of care to our patients, it actually requires the IT infrastructure around it, doesn't it, to absolutely deliver that. And your role is absolutely central to patient care in this organisation. Um, and it's just amazing. And, um, you know, the, the, the team that I've met this morning seem really, really happy. And that's just testament to the dynamic within the team. So um, clearly, really enjoying their roles. Uh, as part of the organisation and I know incredibly well received across the organisation as well. I think they're their they're the eyes and ears for IT, they're on the ground every yeah. day, they're feeding back to us and we can feed that back to their triumvirates. Yeah, brilliant. Fab, lovely to meet you this morning and thank you for everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you. So really wonderful to spend a bit of time this morning with the customer relations officers for the ICT team. And I know your faces have been really well known across the organisation as a really vital resource, keeping this hospital up and functioning because ICT is absolutely integral to everything we do. But just a great opportunity to understand a bit more about your role, Stephen Emma, and Emma um, and Matthew. If I could start with you around your role, what you do every day. 
Yes, as Scroll, we provide uh, flow working uh, support all for all wards and department across the um, ac across the stress uh, through our ward work, and we make sure actually we are visible and accessible um, um, for all the time, all the time across the uh, trust, and we log, triage, and resolve our tickets what we picked up you know on our ward work. Wow. Amazing, such a key role. Yeah. How about you, Sam? What's your role in the top part of the team? So, same as Matthew, same as, as all the crows, but we also run an IT tech bar every okay. Tuesday and Thursday at the X Lounge from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., um, as well as a be weekly um, tech bar at the KO Park on Fridays. So, it's, it helps people to come and approach us for any IT issues or any kind of IT advice they, yeah. they need. And how well used are those tech bars? It's, really, it's, it's always been very busy, especially since we've been giving out our personal iPads to clinical staff as well. So we've been always very busy with tech bars. Wow. Yeah. So it just um, goes to show, doesn't it, how vital that service is in this organisation. So it's just absolutely uh, brilliant. So Steve, and everyone's got a, a the, the sort of massive rollout of the iPads across the organisation. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. So since April, we've actually uh, deployed and processed all the 1,200 iPads uh, for yeah for our clinicians. They're all personally built for our clinical staff, so that they can, so we can assist them for their day-to-day -day, uh, clinical tasks. Really, we've also been involved in some of the projects, and some of the projects that we've recently been involved in are eight by eight alertive and. Uh, OneDrive and we've helped support the staff uh, with, with that. Yeah, so it's, all this stuff is so embedded across our organisation isn't it and in terms of the iPads across the organisation this is really part of our digital agenda isn't it both you know bringing digital um, into our workplace making it easily accessible but also around understanding that this is what the tools that people work in use in their home life as well so how well has that been received yeah i mean that stuff we really love it because this is it's a personal ipad so it, it means a lot more for them as well and and i think it really helps for their daily tasks because they can do it more effectively now as yeah. all the wards are equipped with the proper equipment now yeah, and time to access is much better, isn't it? Because you have to wait. Yes, <laughs> yeah. no, definitely. It's just yeah. amazing, yeah. Emma, anything you'd like to add? Just that we're, we're more, more so like a, a contact between IT and the end users. So we're there to support them when they might be struggling and we can just ease them, make them feel a bit more comfortable. We're a face-to-face -face connection between IT and, and the end users and we also like provide any support that they need. And if we can't, particularly deal with the issue we are able to signpost them into the right direction just to keep them happy yeah, yeah. just adding to to her comment really i think it's very comforting for the staff to just yeah. know that there is someone out there that they can approach as uh, we are also uh, can be approached through alertive yes which is we've got a role as ict customer relations officers that people can contact if they need to raise a ticket or raise an issue or they need a follow-up on, on their tickets. So it's something that it's another way for uh, for users to contact IT. Yeah. Wow, so on Alertive now, so you just put ICT, ICT customer, customer relations relation officer, officer and then they, one of us manage it every day from yeah. Monday till Saturday. How yeah. brilliant is that? It's really, it's really, really good, I feel. It just, it calms staff that maybe not be, for, that, that aren't maybe like technological. Yeah. So it just it, they can just they can contact us and we can then support them. Yeah. It just gives them peace of mind because they're obviously dealing with so much stuff on a daily basis. Yeah, and quick access, isn't it? And I absolutely know that when your IT um, uh, you know, uh, laptop and or uh, iPad isn't functioning, actually, it's frustrating, isn't it? Because yeah. you use it so, as part of your role. So to have you there and it's absolutely brilliant. And as someone that's used your team. Um, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you because you're always really friendly, always really approachable and always really helpful. And I'm personally always really grateful when I see you and I'm sure the rest of the organisation are as well. So just massive thank you to all of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. We're always happy to help. Yeah.